Hi everyone, in this video let's see how we can create metadata from a delimited file. I am going to use this file for uh, my metadata creation. Here I have header with delimiter pipe and I have three columns first name, last name and age. To create metadata we have to go metadata section in repository. Uh, ours is a delimited file so we have to select the file delimited and create file delimited we have to give some name so let's give test metadata and we have to give the path so this is the file i'm gonna use so it is users desktop input So I am going to select this input.txt file. Here it will show uh, the preview of the file. Click on next. So we can change the delimiter here. Or you can give custom delimiter. So we have pipe delimiter. Since we don't have pipe delimiter here, let's give a custom delimiter. Yeah, if you select set heading row as column names, then uh, the header will be 1. The value of the header will be 1. So now we have, we have the header, first name, last name, age and our data also. Let's click on next. So now we can see uh, all three columns are here and it detected the data type also integer here. If you want to make any changes to this uh, data type for each field, you can make change here. Suppose if you want to add extra field, you can just add here. And if you want to select this uh, data type for DOB as date you can you can change the pattern of your field and click on finish so it will create metadata and you can see the four columns are there age first name last name and date of birth let's use this in a job Let's create a job. Test metadata. So here you can just uh, drag and drop this. So that will ask you to what component you want to use uh, with that metadata. So I am going to select T file input delimited here. So if you go, if you click on this component and look at the schema, you can see uh, the schema here. If you want to take a look at the schema, just click on edit schema and view schema. You can see the column names here and the data types also. Okay. If you want to use, uh, if you want to make any changes, you can change it to built in. The schema will not be changed. So now you can make changes to these uh, values. So I, I added one more column, right? So I'm going to add date of birth.
let's not give anything to the second row and let's give and let's use this file let's just look at the content of the file by using tlogro component so just connect t file input delimited with tlogro and in the tlogro you have multiple options you can if you want to uh, print your data as in the table format you can select the table just click on the run Now you can see content of the file here. Suppose let's remove the header from here. Now you don't have header in your file, so you have to update here. Here earlier we have header, so the value was one. So since we don't have header now, we have to give it as 0. Let's run it again and see. We don't have header, but we mentioned the metadata in the repository. So it, it gets column names from there and prints the records on the console. You can create metadata for any file, any delimiter file. We have other options also, positional file, XML, Excel, if you have a table and you can connect to the database and get the metadata from the table also. If you create metadata once here in the repository, you can use it as many times as you want. Suppose if the layout changes, suppose if you want to add one more column to your file, then you can just uh, click on metadata, edit schema you can add it. So once uh, it is updated, let me add test column here. So if once you update here, it will ask you to update all the jobs. If you want to click S, yes, so that will be added as new column in your file. Now if you look at the schema, we have extra column here. You need, you don't need to go to the job and change the metadata. If you use built-in schema, you have to go to the job and make changes to the schema wherever you used that. Suppose you used this metadata uh, from the repository in 10 jobs. You can just change it once and update in all 10 jobs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.